pretty cool snow. Look at that on there. Huh? And then we go four miles to that top, that's what I do tomorrow. See? Here we go. We can go around the lake, Lorraine. Hopefully you can hear me. So behind me up this valley and just where the crowds are, this is Flat Top Mountain. And just a bit further here, you might have just lost sight of it now, is Hallett's Peak, which is a really beautiful, uh, sharp edged, it's quite iconic in this area, the views for it. So I'm going up Flat Top Mountain tomorrow and we'll see how we get on. But as you say, this is quite a an easy walk, circular walk. It's only what about a mile, mile and a half around the lake. Uh, but because I've got Isabel and Lorraine with me, who aren't really well, Isabel's doing it with me, but Lorraine's certainly not a, a serious hiker. Um, she'll be in the jacuzzi tomorrow, enjoying herself, I would imagine. But tomorrow, the guide's coming out, and I'm going to do that mountain, flat top mountain, which takes you round the top. It's about 12,000 and I am so, so looking forward to that, I really am. But right now, I guess this is probably the closest thing to heaven. You know, this is just, words escape me. It is so beautiful and I'm going to say beautiful again and again and again. It's just breathtaking. Wow, is he? Go, is he, go. Look at this. Look at that ice formation, look. So we are literally not even half a mile from the trailhead. And it's just, I mean, just look at this formation. There's the ice behind us here. And look, is he? Look at that. Yeah. It's beautiful, isn't it? Look at the colours in it. Just show you, get you up close. Look at that sheer ice so if you had if you had a uh, ice pick you could probably climb this and ice look at it solid ice there uh, look at that it's absolutely stunning do you want one by the ice Come here, I'll take it, I'll take it for you. I'll take it for you. Yeah, yeah. No, I'll take you with yours, yeah. It's okay. You need it, you can't you can't miss the moment. There you go. So just some fabulous views. And I better go and find my wife and youngest daughter. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I think tomorrow's going to be interesting, especially doing that that ascent. So I think the ascent from where we are is probably about 3,000 foot. I think that'll be that'll be enough. I reckon I'll feel it. It takes lots of breaks. Oh, you just follow it around the lake, don't you? I've got a compass in my bag. We'll be all right. I've passed the mountain navigational course with original outdoors, Richard, so there's no way we can get lost. Famous last words. No, it's quite easy this. You just go around go around the lake. Shit there's a bear. Not heck. 
what in the rain watch this here this is quite compacted you know so just go around the soft snow yeah because you'll fall on your backside Oops, he says as he nearly went over I just nearly slipped I just nearly slipped on my backside we should have bought your skis is he wow isn't it fabulous isn't it so beautiful Squirrel? Oh, yeah. I didn't see it now. Lake now. I could have done. I could have done, but it didn't, did I? No, you could. Yeah. Oh, you could do. You're what time of year it is, yeah. yeah. No, if it's so four in. So just talking to some really nice people there from Colorado and I was just saying um, obviously this is my passion and I absolutely love it. So tomorrow that's the mountain I'm going to be doing. That's flat top mountain so from this angle you'll be able to see a bit more. But we'll see how we get because as you can see the weather's come in now, the front's come in and I think uh, similarly tomorrow in the afternoon that tends to happen but uh, we'll see how high we get. But you know if I didn't even walk any further to be here amongst this wow this is bear lake and obviously weather conditions he did it last um thursday before and they kind of made, i think they did three quarters and then had to turn back because the snow came in but do you know what i'm absolutely blessed to be here and uh you know being early 50s is fantastic the fact that i've discovered walking to take me to places like this you know i if I didn't walk any further in, in Colorado and I'd just seen this, this is just magical. It really is breathtaking. And, uh, you know, I think if you like walking and mountains, it, it, it is spiritual. It just gets you and it just, you know, I, I think uh, it's a, a walking and mountains is a thing you arrive at. And, uh, you know, last two or three years I've certainly done that. So I'm just so grateful and thankful that I've discovered it. And uh, I'm just going to take some time now and just watch these guys. And then we're going to go on to Alberta Falls, which is a bit further on. But look, everyone's walking across the lake. Fantastic. Okay, let's go see Alberta Falls. So you can see, it's snow starting to come in now. And we're, what, we're, we're at the end of, end of April, being in May. So now you can get a, an idea why these the Trail Ridge Road, which is high in this, is closed till May, June, July. You can understand. And uh, I'm intrigued to see how I get on tomorrow with that. The flat Top Mountain. Whether I'll get to the top, I don't know, because of conditions. But I'm really pleased that I've got a guy to go, because I don't think I would have... I think it would have been, I would have been overwhelmed or overfaced going on my own up there. I think, I'll, you know, I'll be with someone, I'll be safe. That's the main thing, especially in the back country here. I think behind me, you can just see the top of Hallis Peak up there, and that's just such a beautiful mountain. It really is. That ridge is phenomenal. <laughs> 